Hey YouTubers, this is John from Our Tiny Cabin Project, and today we're going to be installing two solar electrical outlets using extension cords. Stay tuned. Welcome back. As I said, today we're going to be installing two solar electrical outlets using extension cords. The way we're going to have these wired up is where they can A, either hook up both to the generator, or B, hook up directly to the inverter on the side of our cabin and run directly off of the solar panel. Make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button on the bottom of the screen so you get notified of future uploads. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we got these electrical outlets installed. Drilling my relief cut holes. Okay, now that we have our hole cut, it's time to go ahead and put the receptacle box in. As you can see, it's a normal extension cord wired into the receptacle box with your standard three-prong outlet installed. When wiring with an extension cord, keep in mind black is hot, white is neutral, and green is ground. Alright, let's go ahead and stick this through the hole and have John on the other side go ahead and feed it out, give it a pull. And let's get this through here. There we go. And voila. And then you just finish up the install as you would normally. Go ahead and bolt everything down, make sure it's nice and secure. And then you can start to add your finishing touches. And for us, um, John picked out these really cool deer shed uh, receptacle covers to kind of add to that country cabin look. I think they look great. Now that we've taken a look at those electrical outlets, let's swing over to Charles and take a look at how he's got it all hooked up outside. All right guys, so we have a hole drilled into the wall in two spots. We have our extension cord, which is wired to our outlets. And by going this route, using outdoor extension cords, it makes it really, really easy to plug into multiple sources of power. Whether or not we want to plug directly into the generator, or plug into the inverter. So all we'd have to do, plug into the inverter, plug into the inverter, turn it on, and then we set the inverter in a safe spot. Let's go see if we got power. All right, so we got some power coming into our outlets and um, I need to do some vacuuming. So we're gonna go ahead and test it out that way. We're going to vacuum using solar power. The outlets are tied to the inverter, which are tied to the batteries, which is tied to the charge controller, which is tied to the solar panels. So let's plug it in and see if it works. The moment of truth. Oh. Now we have 120 AC coming into both outlets off the inverter, which is running off our battery bank, which is 12 volt, which is being powered by our solar panels. So we could plug any 110, 120 appliance into these outlets and run them now completely off the grid. You can power a TV. You could power a fireplace. Or you could plug in a crock pot. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so that way you can stay tuned to all of our tiny house adventures. And as always, this is Charles, John, and Princess Frostbite. Catch you later.